Okay, let's close the door. It's freaking cold out. Brrrr. I don't want the cold air in the house. Anyhow, good morning, my friends, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It's early morning. It's, I don't know, seven-ish. Look at it. It's cold out. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take you along for a little ride today. I wanted to come out here. I don't want to wake anybody up. They're all sleeping, so <laughs> that's weird. The person who works graveyards is the first person awake in the weekend, like 5 a.m. I wake up on the weekend, and I'm ready to go, and all those guys are sleeping. <laughs> so I'm trying to be quiet. Don't wake them, okay? Be quiet. Anyhow, today I'm supposed to meet up with uh, another YouTuber, Nomadic Van Man. We're going to have a bite to eat, and I might video some of that. The other one is, I think I'm going to take my bike for a cruise, and we're going to go to the dark side and check out the dark side of van life. So, uh, yeah, look at, wow, beautiful morning. Hey, like I always say, it's a great day to have an awesome day. So, what else we're going to do? Yeah, we're going to go to the dark side. I think that will be in this video. I'm not sure. And then I got to go downtown and do some running around. So, we're gonna do that. So, my friends, come along for the ride with us. Let's go. Burr, burr, burr. Get out of the cold. Okay, this is what you get for two ninety five, except for coffee. Yeah, there you are, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your meal, everyone. Yep. Thank you. Coffee's extra. How much for the coffee? I think it's about five bucks coffee in this menu. And that is six bucks, she said. Right? Look at that. Smother it on. Oh. Can we watch you eat it? Got a video? Okay, you know, I like Marin bikes and I really like this one. This is pretty cool. I would like to find the old, it's about 13 years old now, uh, Marin. Bolinas Ridge. I had one once and man, amazing bike, really light, perfect size. So anyhow, I'm drooling on this one because it's pretty good too. Uh, what's their sign says? Be patient, be kind. There we go. Be kind is the best and be safe. There you go. Signs everywhere. Okay, there's absolutely no need for me to show you my shopping adventures and buying pants and whatever else. But you know what? I am going to explain why I bought this bike and my other bike in the last couple weeks. And that is, I want to do some bike camping next year. A lot of bike camping to a couple of different uh, islands around here. There's Salt Spring Island, there's Pender Island, there's Gabriola. Along the Pacific, British Columbia and Vancouver coast, there's a lot of little islands, and I think one of the coolest way to explore that is bike camping, tenting along those. The only other thing is I'm going to have to convince Korean girl. She might be up for it, I'm pretty sure. She loves adventure, she loves camping. She likes tenting, but she'd rather take the camper van, and she's pissed off at me this year that we didn't go anywhere. Wanted to go to the Okanagans, wanted to go to the Alberta and the Prairies. Didn't happen, so she got pretty ticked at me. So it's my fault that we didn't do van life this year, or camping. Uh, the only other thing I got to say, oh yeah, the ride home on the train yesterday, drinking this beer. Freak, this was awesome as hell. This was so good. So this is tree brewing in Kelowna, 
and this is actually a Kelowna Pilsner. They named it after them themselves. So I've been to this brewery, and this was super good. So anyhow, if anybody ever goes to the Okanagans, that's the place. What else do I have to add? Oh, yeah. I did... Ah, sorry, got a frog in my throat. Maybe I need another beer. No, just kidding. It's too early in the morning. Anyhow, uh, blah, 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 blah. I lose track of my where I'm going. What I filmed yesterday on the dark side of van life, I wasn't very pleased with it. So I'm only going to show you one of the three spots I went to. I'm going to show you the best spot, or what I thought was one of the better spots. I'm going to go back to the ugliest spots and refilm that because man it was ugly and riding by on bike and just shooting didn't work out very well so that's what we're gonna do so that's we're gonna how we're gonna end this video so check out the clips guys we'll see you next time cheers stay awesome be awesome and mostly be and this is the other side of the bridge in the hood so uh, yeah I don't think there's no need to go along there and get a close-up because you can see it all it all looks the same a lot of storage of crap and then again wondering why van lifers are getting a bad rap and getting kicked out of areas if you do this it's becoming a really bad scene for us mind you you got the bottle depot there that probably brings in a lot of recycled trash so yeah anyhow there you go, we're showing some of uh, Vancouver's darkest. There is one more that's even worse in this area, down on Strathcona. I'm not even risking my life down there. This one was a little bit better than what I thought, so. But at least you got this guy cleaning all the gutters and leaves out, so that's a good thing, right? And these guys down there, they're repairing their van. It looks like they're putting a new propane tank on, so. And of course, covered up the AC unit and heater because it's probably leaking. But yeah, I give a shout out to this guy. Somebody's cleaning up. Look at that. that that's freaking awesome. The rest of these guys down there, yeah, forget it. They're just making a mess and making a pigsty. So yeah, holy shit, eh? Man. Good job, dude. Good job, whoever you are. But where is he going to put all that trash? That's what I'm wondering. So, Anyhow, I don't know what else to say. If it, Actually, yeah, I do. Behind this building, there's more all along those streets. But, yeah, I've seen enough. You've seen enough. Look at the beautiful background and sub surroundings around here are totally, uh, yeah. As Chuck says, you know the routine. Stay awesome.